<laughs> How about Beverly and Carlisle? Well, after Rick Carlisle finished his news conference, uh, Patrick Beverly, who missed the game with a left quad mm-hmm. contusion, was sitting on a, a cart. And as Carlisle left and he was walking to his office, uh, Beverly yelled at Carlisle, saying, uh, you're way to be an icon, coach. Uh, don't be mad at us. Um, have a good season, coach. Carlisle did not respond to Beverly. He kept walking toward his office. Um, I did not talk to Beverly after the game, but I'm just uh, guessing here that he was upset at some of the things that transpired uh, during the game. Uh, at one point, Carlisle got a technical foul, and he was clapping, saying, good call, ref, good call, ref. So the Rockets felt like he was mocking the officials. Um, James Harden got knocked down on a screen by Andrew Bogut. Ryan Anderson got hit uh, in the head. Uh, Anderson had neck surgery uh, years ago with New Orleans, and Anderson said he's very sensitive when he gets hit in the head because he felt like his uh, neck was tingling a little bit there. So the Rockets were very upset at the physical nature of play. Uh, against the Mavericks tonight. Tell me, how much of this might have to do with, obviously, they're both in Texas, they're clearly rivals. They played four times. They're done already. Four times in 32 games. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, they are rivals, and when you look at the the Mavericks record, you know, they are 9-23. and It's been a long season for them. They haven't had their star player, Dirk Nowitzki. Uh, They've encountered all kinds of injuries, and it's been a bad start to their season. And when you look at the Rockets, the Rockets have won 24 games this season the Rockets are moving along you know in the Western Conference they might be even the three seed when it's all said and done so there's I'm sure there's some frustration on the Mavericks part because they're not playing so well and the Rockets are so this is a rivalry of course but when you think when I think of the the bitter rivalries that the Rockets have it's usually with the Clippers and mm-hmm. the Warriors because those games mean so much more even the Spurs and the Mavericks might be a distant you know fourth when you look at the the list of teams in the rivalry list but, yeah, you know, being, I guess, three and a half hours away from each other and people in Houston don't like people in Dallas and vice versa, these kinds of things will occur from time to time like it did tonight. 